myself Santosh. I do have around nine years of experience working in IT industry. And currently I'm working as manager in Microsoft. My core experience is towards data science, data engineering and data analytics project. Currently I'm managing around eight projects and total I have worked with around 80 projects from different domains such as banking, healthcare, insurance, e-commerce and retail. And I'm a certified trainer taking training for KSR for the last five years. Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll try to look at what are the technologies which is in demand in 2023 and we'll be focusing only on the data related technologies. Now, as part of the discussion, we'll start with what are the data driven technologies which is a currently an odd skill and we'll also see what are the technologies you need to learn for each and every role and finally we'll see which one is suitable for you for your career based on your interest. Now, in order to give a high level picture of what are the hot skills which is currently in the market, especially in this recession time, there are a lot of layoffs or layoffs are happening across different organizations and there is always a demand for technologies. So in that case, we'll see all the data driven technologies, especially we do have data analyst, data scientist, business analyst and data engineering. There is no particular order where this is first, this is last, but I wanted to give a clear picture on each one, what this type of role, how this resources will help in terms of business. Let's talk about a data analyst first. So data analyst, the name itself says that analyst, analyzing the data. So we may be getting the data from different data source. Our objective is try to put everything into one single bucket and start analyzing it. So when you analyze, you are actually helping the business to know where they are lacking in terms of revenue generation, where they are improving, where they are making profit and what are the areas we need to focus. So a data analyst is a person who gives an idea about how the business is going, whether it's a positive or it's a negative. Now, we got to know there are certain problems. The business is not moving forward or the business is really moving forward where you have to manage your supply and demand. Now, in that case, you just give you the idea. As a data analyst, you just give the idea. But who is going to implement it? Who is going to come up with some recommendations? Who is going to come up with some implementation is what? As a data scientist. Now, data scientist is a person who is going to implement a solution in order to improve the business. Assume that in one of the area, the business is not working. So there they can take a decision to stop the business or they can also come up with more ideas where they can improve in specific area. Now the difference between a data analyst and a data scientist is data analyst just points out the problem whereas data scientist solves the problem with even more advanced technologies. Okay. Then what does the business analyst do? Well, the business analyst, if you see the role name itself, it involves a business, right? So you should have some business knowledge in order to take some decisions. You may not be implementing here, but at least you need to connect with the client, make sure what is their requirement, understand the problem statement and give ideas and suggestions. This is very, very critical. They are hiring you for giving you suggestions and recommendations. Right now, data analyst, data scientist, business analyst are everything closely related. But remember one thing for everything, every technology which is on top, the most important point is data. If data is not there, you cannot do data analysis. If the data is not good, you cannot go and build a solution. If the data is not good, you cannot go and talk to your client. And all in all, for everything, data is important. Now, for that, in order to make sure the data is in a workable format, neat, clean, and as well as a 
workable data, we'll be working with data engineering. Now, what does a data engineer do? When we are getting the data from different data sources, which is not clean, right? You need to put some extra effort. You need to organize it well. You need to clean the data. You need to transform the data. And then you have to make readily available. Only if data is ready, the other people can use, right? See, data analysts, data scientists, business analysts will have no work if the data is not good. In order to bring the data into a workable format, that is what data engineer is going to do. Well, if you ask me, among all the four roles, the most important role for us is data engineers. If there are no data engineers, never ever think about any data related technologies because without proper data, no one can come up with a solution. Right? Now, as I said, not in any particular order. This four are in demand. Now, let's take one step forward. This is all roles we are talking about. You can go into a company as a data analyst, data scientist, business analyst, or a data engineer. But taking one step forward, what are the technologies involved in order to become specific role? We have listed down. To become a data analyst, Excel knowledge is optional. But the most important thing is you should have a knowledge of SQL and BI tools. In order to do some ad hoc request analysis, SQL is most important. And BI tools, if you're good with Power BI or Tableau, which will be very, very helpful for you because the purpose of using BI tools is you can con convert your raw data into insights and that is what your data analyst does. But if you have an additional knowledge of Azure, it will be even more good. Now, data analyst, I've told you their only purpose is to try to understand the problem, where it is improving, where it is lagging. That's all. Now, to take one step further, we will try to solve that by using some algorithms. We'll try to provide some solutions. We know what is happening. We'll try to improve it. Now, that is where data scientist comes into picture. Well, all in all, always SQL becomes a mandatory language for all of the data related technologies and you need to work focus more on statistics statistics is what just a collection of data where you come up with more meaningful insights you have to be very good with statistics and as usual if you want to implement any algorithm you have to know one coding language so the most suitable coding language for implementing the algorithms will be python and as in then algorithms when it comes from it comes from your artificial intelligence machine learning or even deep learning right so data analyst points out the problem data scientist implements the problem now comes for business analyst for business analyst he may not be that much of technically involved but he should be knowing how to solve a problem he should understand what type of clients he is working with are you working with retail, e-commerce, healthcare? So you should know how well you can come up with the decision making. So that is where your business knowledge comes into picture, right? And knowing is uh, Excel and BI tools is an added advantage. But most importantly, the people who are very good in communicating, try to understand the problem statement and come up with the suggestions and improvements. We go with business analyst and at last the best data engineering. So data engineering is a root for everything. If the root is not there, you can never build a tree where the root is always the data engineering. The data is coming from different data sources. If it is scattered across the systems, how can you do an analysis? Not possible. You need to have a good foundation in order to solve the problem, analyze the problem, implement the problem for that. Who is the master here? Data engineer is a master. Now, when we focus on the data engineer, we have to know SQL and Python as a mandatory because Python is a language which you have to know in order to come up with the complex logics. And most importantly, we have to learn something called big data. So big data is a problem nowadays where huge data is coming into your system. You don't know how to manage. You have to properly manage. You have to create some pipelines. You have to make sure the data flow is smooth. For that, we have big data. And in order to solve the big data problems, we have 
cloud services. One of the cloud services is necessary. Well, whether you are using AWS or you are using Azure, with both of the services, you can solve it. Without data engineering, there is no other technology. Remember this. The other technologies, if you understand, if, if you feel like data analyst, data scientist or business analyst, it is going down. In case if you feel like it is going down, it is because we don't have a proper data. Without proper data, how can you analyze? Now, that is where your data engineers comes into picture. Now, let's take one step forward. This data engineering is going to be fuel for the organizations and 2023 is expected to be boom for this data engineers because what we have understood in the last three, four years, we know the importance of data, but unfortunately, we don't have a proper system to manage the data. Data is coming, people are using internet, people are using smartphones, people are using multiple applications, but unfortunately, there is no proper systems. Well, in order to make this readily available, your data engineering is the best among the technologies because without data, never ever think about any other technologies. Now, to take one step further, your ETL pipelines is important where you need to extract it, transform it and load it into a single system and try to apply some data, complex logics, implement your business logics and also organize your data. Well, all in all, you have to do with the language which is suitable for us. In our case, one coding language is necessary. So people say that, yes, without coding you can survive. Yes, of course. Right? Without coding, you can still able to get into a IT where you can start exploring. But I would say it is for a short term. If you know coding, no one can ever touch you in terms of your job security. If you know coding, I would say anything is achievable. There are certain cases where your non-coding tools can still help you. But if you ask me, in this recession time where layoffs are happening, one thing which will always keep you secure is coding. If you know coding, and the statement says that nothing is impossible if you know coding. You give any complex logic, we can do it with coding. Right? And to conclude this video, I would say, which one is right for you? Well, all in all, all these four data related technologies are very important and we can take in any of the area, if you are a very, very beginner to your IT, then I would suggest go for data analyst where you want to start your career because you are very new to IT where you need to understand the process, you need to understand the business and you need to understand the data. Well, if you are a bit one step further where you already know how to analyze it, where you want to start implementing it, start giving the solutions, you can choose data scientist and all in all if you can build a good rapport with the clients share the ideas suggestions recommendations the best suited one is business analyst well all in all finally for every technology data is important organizing the data and then making sure that it is readily available i would say data engineer of course among all the four data engineer is a tough one but I'll also tell you, among all four, data engineering is a high paying job. With that, close this video. Thank you so much for watching this. Please subscribe our channel for more videos. Thank you.